am your host, Jason Aaron, filling in for Michael Artsis. I got my handle. I'm still loving this. You're gonna gonna rock this for the rest of the day. And we are here with Wowie. I met you guys last year at CE Week, which was our first appearance on Be Terrific. You guys take toys to the next level. Uh, I, you're our neighbors today. You're our, yeah. our booth neighbors, yeah, yeah. Uh, slightly to the north, uh, the northeast over there. And I saw a similar little guy roaming around before, but what is this? So this is a guy called Koji. And Koji basically means coding plus emojis gets you an item called Koji. The whole idea is coding is sometimes a little bit of a scary thing or hard to approach. So we thought what better way than to make coding accessible than through emojis, those little characters that everyone could relate to, even if they're not readers, regardless of geography, regardless of pretty much many different factors. So it makes the idea of coding a little more palatable and digestible. So Koji teaches young kids age four to seven the basic concepts of coding. In free play, I can punch in an emoji so I can hit the forward arrow and then feed him a taco, for example. And boom, I just coded. If I hit send, I just made my robot move forward and eat a taco. And there's sound effects that are super fun, but it's a little harder with all the noise. So going that's on. unbelievable. Two presses of a button and. And a young four year old can actually elicit something physical from a digital input, which is really what the crux of coding is, right? Over and above that, you have, a, you have a bunch of different play modes. So sequence game, for example, is sort of like Simon Says, where it flashes emojis on Koji's face, and then the kid has to match them in the app accordingly. Builds memory skills. In Maze Game, you get all sorts of different mazes that places the robot into these different environments, and you have to help get Koji through the mazes. The physical robot gives you clues, and you have to help Koji get to the edge of the game. And then you start to unlock new levels and new content and new emojis, of course, which keep it fun and fresh. The whole idea with Koji, the real word that we keep using is accessibility, right? Accessibility to learn how to code through emojis because they're easy and accessibility through price. A lot of the STEM products out there today for kids, they're all between the 100 to 150 range. Koji retails for $59.99. Wow. So not only is he accessible price-wise, but again, for a four to seven year old, they can relate. Is that the target market, a four to seven year old? Because I can see myself using this and I'm a little older than seven. <laughs> We've gotten that feedback from a lot of novice coders who have no idea what the, uh, what the first, I guess, step is in coding. Yeah, it's relatable. That's, that's incredible. What else do you guys have here at CE Week? We have, so we have two other products that we're super excited about. One we've talked about on Be Terrific all the time called CHIP, which stands for Canine Home Intelligent Pet, which is, in my opinion, the coolest item our company's ever made. That was the dog I saw running it's around. It's really wild. It's so like, wh what does it do? It's for every family who says to, whose, whose parents say to their kids, can we get a dog? The answer is no. For every family who says no, they can get their kids a chip and their kids will be pretty happy. It basically, it's, it's, an, it's an advanced robot dog that learns the preferences of its owner over time, uniquely recognizes its owner, adapts its personality to the preferences of its owner, it can chase a ball and bring it back to its owner. When it's tired and needs a recharge, it can go to its rechargeable bed and find it by itself and dock itself and come back out when it's ready to play. Unreal. When the kid goes to school, he'll get a text message in the app saying, you know, I can't wait to play with you or I'm hungry or can you feed me or any of those sort of interactions. And you don't have to take it to the vet. No vet, no cleanup inside the house, which is nice too. That is incredible. And what's the other product? The other product is a product called Lumi, which is a drone. And don't get me wrong, I know everyone is doing drones and we get it, but one of the things that we've seen, at least in our experience with drones, is that it's a mixed bag. They're, they're hard to fly or they're too expensive and there's not really like a middle ground sort of product. So we're bringing a $79 drone to market for kids and our whole deal is that anybody can fly. My 80-year-old grandmother can fly, my four-year-old nephew can fly. Anybody with the touch of a button in the Lumi app can be empowered to actually elevate their game, conquer their airspace, play with the drone, make it do flips and stunts, all with touches of the button. And it's all thanks to this really advanced technology that we've patented called Beacon Sense. And do you operate that with an iPhone? iPhone, Android, tablet, you name it. Are all three of these products available now? They're all gonna hit the market around August, except for the dog, which might be a little later towards September, October. And how do I find out more information about this stuff? Wowie.com, www.wowie.com. That's it.
Andrew, thank you so much for yeah, stopping pleasure, by. Yeah, pleasure, as always. I, I think I'm going to have to go us. disappear for a minute and go play with some toys over at the Wowie booth. You guys stay tuned. We'll be back with plenty more Be Terrific Live from CE Week here in New York City at the Metropolitan Pavilion. We'll be right back. <laughs>